gross, isn't it? Me? The play bus! But where does it go? Little sister, watch for the sign of the lollipop. Peggy Patch is out today to find a patch to stop and play. Where will it be? Who will she meet? Has the bus stopped at the end of your street? Can you guess where Peggy's got off the bus today? I'll give you some clues. Well, there's lots of traffic around and there's factories and buildings all about. But Peggy's found a quiet spot where she can sit and watch. She's over here. Peggy's in the middle of a busy town today, and there's lots going on everywhere. She's off for a game of hide-and-seek now. And she'll have to take a mat with her because it's been raining. See if you can spot her. On a road sign she may be, or hiding by a small rose tree. Look for her under a stone archway. Where is Peggy hiding today? not the only one who plays hide-and-seek. Actually, there's a lot of funny things around here. What do you think they are? Well, they're containers, and they're part of a factory, and they're full of cleaning liquids. What colour have they been painted? Red, green, black and white. The factory's actually helped to make this patch of green in the middle of the town so that there's countryside for people to walk through. What can you see that looks like part of the countryside? Trees. A pond. Lots of clover. Oh, <laughs> it's Peggy still playing hide and seek. Oh, this is a bit funny, isn't it? I can't get through here. Oh, but I can get through this bit. So what's this for? Oh, I know. It's to stop people on bikes from getting through. They can't go through this narrow bit because the handlebars are too wide. And people on bikes are quite high, so they can't get past this bit. But if I want to get through, I go through there. And people in wheelchairs, because they're low enough, Go this way, right the way round. And over the bridge. Well, that's weird. The water's flowing so fast under the bridge, it makes me feel as though I'm moving. I'll show you how fast it's flowing. If I get a leaf, there's a dock leaf here and I throw it over the bridge. If it's flowing fast, it'll beat me to the other side. It's going under now. Oh, there it comes. So it's flowing quite fast. The only thing is, people think that's what happens with rubbish. They throw it in one part of the river and they think it floats away. And it does, but it always ends up somewhere. This river's being cleaned though, so hopefully some creatures will come back to live in it, like some, oh, some ducks. Peggy Patch's puzzle. Peggy has found a bus station with lots of buses going in and out. 
How many buses can you count leaving the bus station to start their journey? Piggy spotted six buses leaving the bus station. Oh, and there's one more, that makes seven. It's a cone. That's right. Cone. Cone, that's right. They're enormous. Where'd you get those from? I went to... Holidays when I went to Colwell and I got this. Look it's at like the it. size of that one. That is one of the biggest ones I've ever seen, I think. And when you pick them up, were they this shape? Yay! Yeah. No, they were all. They were all. Like that? Mm. Yeah, like this. Oh, they were, oh they were closed up instead of yeah. open. And then that one's still open. And then like this. Like that. And then you like this. Like that. And you Ah, yes. Was there anything inside? It's a seed out of them, isn't it? That's right, yes. Seed. The seeds. The yeah. seeds fall out. Did it and then they dig underground. And then the trees, there's a little plant come up and then this there's the a big tree. This is the littlest. Can you feel anything? Uh, conkers. The shells of conkers. Oh, should we have a look? Yeah. Let's have a look then. I'll be careful. I'll get one out. I'll be careful. Because they're quite... I know there is conkers. There is a few. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It's the shell of a conker, really. Like. Conkers? No! Ah. Bulbs! Bulbs! No, 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 no. They are, they are sort of conkers. Are there some of them coming out? Are, are they big eggs or something? No, no. Do you know what the proper name for conkers is? What? Chestnuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those chestnuts. Oh, yeah. well, they, <laughs> It's sharp, isn't it? But these ones are called sweet chestnuts because you can eat these. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Not yet. No, 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 no. You've got to cook them first. Oh, look, I've got one out. Look at that. Oh, we found them. Oh, look at Look at that there. Look, I got that? Can you see that inside there? See where it comes out. See, there's more than one in there, isn't there? Do you want to see all my conkers? Yeah, let's have a look at yours then. I've got massive big ones. Let's have a look. Let's put, got, bring them out. I've got then. whoppers. Have you? Yeah. Oh, yes, look at those. Oh, they're gone, yes. Oh, come on, you stupid things. Yeah, I always do. Look at these conkers. Oh, God. Oh, let's look at those. Let's look at those. Oh, look at those. You've got loads of conkers now. How do you play the game of conkers? I hold, I, I hold that up, the conker up like that. Yeah. I, when you get the conker, sit back and then you try and hit it. If, if you don't hit it, you might go. And you keep going until somebody's conker breaks? Yeah. Right. Okay, right, and then which conkers are on there? You want to choose your conkers? Yeah. This one's mine. Okay. This one's mine, will it? Okay, and I'll have uh, that one. She keeps getting it. Don't move. Don't move. She keeps getting me conker. <laughs> Hold it straight. Well, I always make it. I know. Careful, man, careful. Oh, I'm getting good at this. I know how to do this. Oh, nice, nice out. Oh, that's good. I want that. Ah, skin it, it. It wobbled. Yes. Ah, look at this. I'm getting it. Yes, I've got it. Come on. Oh, missed. No, right, you'll go. Yes, you're going to go in a sec. Oh, yeah. Oh, Peggy, looks like you found a bit of litter. You know what to do with that. Pick a bit up, put a bit in, put a bit of litter in a litter bin. Once a week, Stan the dustbin man and his mates, Dan and Fran, drove out from Dumperton 
to the village of Little Uppingham to empty the bins. Fran hummed a little tune as she drove Big Edna to Little Uppingham. Her favourite pop singer, Pete the Beat, lived there. He had bought a big house and was decorating it. She longed to catch sight of Pete the Beat. It was raining heavily as they entered the village, so they put on their bright orange max and sou'westers before starting work. Then the other drivers could see them clearly and slow down. They worked hard all morning emptying the rubbish from the shops, houses and farms. By the time they reached the village school, Big Edna was nearly full. Stan peeped through the railings to see if Miss Monica, the teacher, had left any useful things by the bin for him. He couldn't believe what met his eyes. Most of the playground was covered in water. It was gushing in through a gap in the wall. Looks like a blockage, said Stan. Could be fallen leaves swept in by all the rain, said Dan, joining him. Let's investigate, said Fran, striding off to look at the stream which ran alongside the school. A short way down the path, they spotted the problem. It's a blockage, all right, said Stan, but not with leaves, we're rubbish. Someone had dumped plastic bags full of rubbish into the stream. The stream had stopped flowing down to the river and all the water had gushed sideways into the schoolyard. Stan and Dan heaved the bags out of the stream, allowing the water to flow normally again. Stan poked around in one of the bags. Hmm, plaster, rubble and wallpaper, he said. I wonder who could have dumped it here? There's only one person with decorators in at present said Dan, looking at Fran. And that's that singing fellow in the big house. Not Pete the Beat, wailed Fran. He wouldn't! Together, they dragged the bags up the path to Big Edna. Someone will have to have a word with him, said Stan. I'll come with you, said Fran. We'll all go, said Dan firmly. Pete the Beat was practising a new song when they arrived. He was angry and upset when he heard about the flood. I, I only told my men to get rid of the rubbish, he said. I didn't mean them to dump it. What can I do to show how sorry I am? I'd like a signed photograph, please, said Fran. We'll show you the proper place to dump rubbish, said Dan. We'll take you to Dumperton Tip when we empty Big Edna. You could write a song about what to do with rubbish and sing it with children, said Stan. They'll need something to do while their playground is drying out. I will, man, I will, said Pete the Beat. Perhaps I could help you to teach it to children, said Fran dreamily. Perhaps you could drive Big Edna to tip, said Stan. We'll leave the teaching bit to Miss Monica. They left Pete the Beat tapping out his new song, they were quite sure that he would never allow rubbish to be dumped in the stream again. Peggy Patch is looking for a creature that sometimes comes into the town to say hello to. Say hello to this creature. A creature with amber eyes. 
a bushy tail and a thick coat, who can hear very well, and is often called cunning. It's a fox. Even though foxes live in the country, some of them are moving into the towns to live. But you probably won't see them during the daytime, as they're usually resting. But at night, though, they come out to look for food. And they eat things like beetles and worms and chickens that haven't been locked up properly. Peggy knows some foxes that come into the town at night to look for food. Where do you think they might look? Pictures of this, pictures of that. I like your pictures, says Peggy Patch. You painted them and coloured them, even stuck them with glue. I like your pictures, says Peggy. I hope you like doing them too. Not all rubbish is useless. This is an empty orange juice carton and some lids I've stuck on. Can you guess what it's going to be? Got another lid that's going to be the front of it. Put that on there. I'll give you a clue, some people are going to ride on it. It's a bus. And here are the people that are going to ride on it some glue down the side, like that. Here's the driver, and some of his friends. There's a man taking a photograph. Two of his friends. Let's see if you can recognise anybody at the back. There's a picture of Peggy. Don't forget, if you live in a town, you might see a fox. A creature with amber eyes, a bushy tail and a thick coat, who can hear very well and is often called cunning. <coughs> oh, there's the bus. Come on, Peggy, bring your conker, the bus is here. Peggy will find another patch to stop and play in next week. See you there. <coughs>